Matt, thanks so much. Indiana Governor Mike Pence calls it a proven model for Medicaid reform. The state's Healthy Indiana Plan 2.0 was approved by the federal government. That means 350,000 uninsured Hoosiers could now be eligible for health insurance. WSBT 22's James Fillmore is at the live desk right now, and James, people can sign up right now. Well, you can do it locally or online, Rick. Coverage begins in just a couple days on February 1st. This won't help everyone living in Indiana, though, because only certain people are eligible. The Healthy Indiana Plan 2.0 gives many low-income people in Indiana access to quality health care. We have a potential to reach 19,000-plus individuals in St. Joseph County alone. Governor Mike Pence says the Medicaid-covered health savings account program encourages preventative care and decreases inappropriate use of emergency rooms. It's not designed to be permanent, though. The governor says HIP 2.0 prepares people to one day move to private insurance as they better their lives. There were no other affordable options options before, but the Healthy Indiana Plan is going to fill that gap in our coverage. There are certain qualifications. First of all, you can't be disabled, and you have to be between the ages of 19 and 64. There's some income requirements, too. If a person is approved for the program, they have to contribute at least a dollar a month to their account, but it could be a percentage of their salary. The new Healthy Indiana Plan is paid for through cigarette tax dollars and a fee that Indiana hospitals have agreed to pay. People already enrolled in the current Healthy Indiana Plan will transfer transition automatically without any impact on coverage, but people enrolled in the federal marketplace will have to make the switch. Sandra Gardetto is a manager for health insurance services at St. Joseph Regional Medical Center. In addition to Mishawaka, they have locations in South Bend and Plymouth where people can go to apply or ask questions. There are other places in our area you can apply, plus you can do it online. There will be several events in our area where people can go and ask questions. To help guide you and for more information, go to WSBT.com. Once you're there, look for this story. Click on it, scroll to the bottom, and that's where we'll have a link with more information. At the Live Desk, James Fillmore, WSBT 22 News.